everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so glad you guys are here if this is your first time welcome to my channel i hope you enjoy your stay and you want to come back for more videos if you do click that subscribe button down below the little bell next to it that'll give you a notification of when i upload new videos and welcome back to all my returning friends let's get started it's tasty tuesday it's been a while again i think i'm back in my baking cooking mood we'll see but anyways, I am going to be doing a orange cream fruit salad that I found first on Facebook. A friend posted it and I'm like, oh, I need to make that. So I had to run out to the store, grab all the ingredients so we can give it a try. But it's from, if I can read it, butter with a side of bread is what I'm seeing on there. But we're going to turn the camera around. We're going to make this together. I've got all the things straight down here and we'll get started. All right, so for the ingredients, we're going to need a 3.4 ounce vanilla pudding, three quarters to one and a half cups of milk. I'm starting out with three quarters. I was reading in there that people were saying that it was a little too soupy or whatever with the one and a half cups. So I'm gonna do three quarters cup milk, one third of a cup of orange concentrate. So I, and this is thawed. So I will get one third of that in just a minute. A 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks or tidbits drained. So I'll be draining those in a minute. Um, an eight ounce container of Cool Whip, which is thawed. And then <laughs> 11 ounce can of mandarin oranges. Meyer did not have any cans of mandarin oranges. And I wasn't gonna go to different stores. I just wanted to get what I needed and get out. So I just grabbed these snack packs of the mandarin oranges and my light just fell. Okay, let's see. It's gonna stay. It was doing pretty good. Okay, snafus. For some reason, there's not a lot of light in the kitchen right now, even with my light on. So I have a little prep light up here. But anyways, back to the mandarin oranges. So I'm gonna use these, I'm gonna open these all up, drain these, and we'll get started and mix this all together. It'll be just a second. All right, so let's mix this up together. So we're gonna combine the pudding mix, the milk, and the orange juice together. So I have the pudding mix in there, not the bag. Three quarters cup of milk and one third cup of the orange juice. And like I said, it was thawed. Thing out of there. And then we're going to mix this for about two minutes. And together we are going to fold in the cool whip just you don't want to whip stir because it'll break down the consistency of the cool whip so just kind of flip and fold let's try to get it all blended in so you don't have one area of the pudding mix that's not incorporated into 
yeah, three quarters of a cup is just enough. I think if there would have been more, it would have been way too soupy. Now granted, this is going to set up once we put it in the refrigerator to set. I think I've got everything in there mixed in good. I'm going to transfer this to a bowl before I start adding in the fruit because I want it to look pretty afterwards and I'm not putting this in the in the refrigerator. That way I can put some saran wrap over this. So I'm just going to gently fold it in there and that way I'll know I'll get all of the stuff mixed in together. Get everything out of this bowl. So now we're going to fold in, and I'm going to taste it because I can. I have my fruit drained, so we're going to just kind of dump this in. You can add bananas in this if you want. I'm not going to add bananas because I don't want them to brown as they're sitting or as they're in the refrigerator. I may add some marshmallows to it, but you just fold in the fruit. And I'm gonna get some marshmallows. We're gonna add some marshmallows in here. a handful of here or there no measurements on this just add to your your liking and we'll start with two handfuls which was about a half a bag of a 10.5 ounce bag of mini marshmallows I'm just going to gently fold it in. And I'm just dumping a little bit more. Probably about three quarters of a bag of the mini marshmallows. And I'm gonna clean up the edges and I'll put a little saran wrap on it and we will stick this in the refrigerator where it's gonna chill for two to three hours or a little bit longer. And we will have this with our dinner today. I'm filming this on Sunday, Father's Day. So happy Father's Day out there to all the men in your life. And we will have this with our dinner. All right, so I'm just going to smooth it all out and then I'm going to take a paper towel and clean off the edges. Doesn't that look pretty? Of course, I'm going to lick the the spatula here. Oh, that's good. You can taste the orange juice. Mm. All right, so I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for two to three hours. And then when I serve some up, we'll taste it and I'll let you know. All right, I'll be back in a few hours. All right, so it's been in the refrigerator chilling. It's set up nicely. And I have a visitor <laughs> as he's looking down as I got it pulled in here. So I'm going to scoop out a bunch, put it in a bowl. Of course, I'm going to try it out before I send it to anybody. That is really, really good. 
All right, so I'm gonna give them some. I will have a link down below in the description box for the recipe. You guys can try it out for yourself. And until next time, remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye guys.